This is an Axiom Road Runner bicycle fender mounted to my bicycle and today I'm going to change its mounting geometry a little bit. I'm unhappy with it, it's got too much flex sideways axial in this direction or laterally, whichever Latin word you fancy. You might run into the same mounting geometric oddity or scenario if you have a disc brake at the front like I have on this bicycle. So independent of makes and models, this just happens to be a 2016 Norco Threshold Aluminum but again, if you have a disc brake at the front here, as you try to mount the Axiom Roadrunner to it, you might run into the same situation. I've been using this fender for the last 2000 kilometers of pedaling through Pacific Northwest type torrential downpours. I live in a temperate climate rainforest with 1200 millimeters of rain in a year at sea level. That's 48 inches of rain. Uh, double or triple that in the mountains, like Mount Baker. And I have a full video about how this fender is working in these conditions. My concern with this lateral wobble or axial wobble is that sometimes this mounting bracket here contacts the tire. I'm not saying that it's going to gouge out the tire or chew out the tire or damage the tire or destroy the tire, but it's a really small clearance here at the corner of the tire and I really want to stiffen the mounting system sideways. The fender comes and this is a 700, um, 700 wheel uh, on uh, this bicycle frame here. So the Roadrunner does come with four pieces of wire stays and there are two of them mounted. The other two simply doesn't fit. Why they don't fit and what the solution is, we'll get started with how and where the four pieces don't fit. We'll start here at the brake side. You can see that the mounting point is somewhere here above the brake. The manufacturer decided that on this fork leg uh, there wouldn't be a mounting point for a fender further down here to brace the fender somewhere in this general direction because one wire stay can be there but the second one is really difficult because the uh, brake caliper is in the way so they moved a mounting point instead of being somewhere down here up above above the brake rotor here or brake disc here and you can see it from the inside that this bolt head is indeed about and uh, I'm gonna go scientific an adult's two fingers width above so it's a generous clearance above the uh, brake disc or brake rotor there there is also lots of clearance here sideways here to the nearest spoke there lots so even if the with, even if the fender was mounted with four pieces of wire, that means two on the same bolt head, one on top of another, and the bolt head would be sticking out further towards the wheel, there is still enough room here for uh, for a second wire stay here, easily. However, there isn't any space on the other side here. There is space here because of the brake caliper's body. You can see the caliper body sticking out sideways, but on the other side here, I have virtually, oh, let me just rotate a spoke there, you, I have virtually here, and this is why I film it in the living room in front of a cream colored furniture, you can see oh, I only have about half a finger's width clearance between the bolt head hitting the spoke there. If this mounting point was higher up on the fork leg it really wouldn't be supporting much, there is more clearance here because the spokes are Tapering, uh, tapering together towards the rim, but here at the towards the axle, they are really wide, and I have limited clearance. So, if there was a second set of these wire stays, one placed on top of another, the bolt head would be closer to the spokes here, and would uh, really be not enough clearance here between bolt head and spokes. So. A third wire stay could be therefore placed here on one side but not a fourth one on this side. So what's the solution here? I need a different wire stay that's not included with Axiom's supplied wire stays because these are four independent pieces of wire stays. I need a two-in-one. I need something like this. This shape 
you can see two wire stays are on one loop just a single loop is made with the wire here and so it's not doubling up the thickness of the wire stays therefore clearance is not an issue these are not included in axioms roadrunner fenders or any model of axioms fenders these are from another brand i just ask nicely just for a y shaped wire stay from uh, different bicycle mechanics and uh, they just gave me these ones these have already been cut if i can show you the cut wire ends you can see that these have been used and cut to length at one point that's why the coarse end looks like so so uh, and different models i scored four of these two sets of two and they have different angles on this one if I just hold it on the bolt head like so you can see that this one fits in terms of length but it needs to be bent down a little bit it's really easy to bend it down it needs just minimal force but uh, but this one with a different angle fits even it's even better it needs to be maybe angled up a little bit minimal force so if it's so easy to spread it or squish it down a little bit is this going to be stiffening it yes hopefully because it's twice the amount of wire than than i have at the moment and forces applied this way is not the same as forces applied sideways okay so sideways on the fender i'm gonna have twice the amount of wire stainless steel wire holding the fender in place so hopefully it will minimize or lessen the amount of vibration and amount of contact here where uh, clearance is at the least i could have the fender placed further away from the tire in theory but with this particular uh, bicycle and the shoe i used for this uh, clippy pedal here i really my toes are really close to the fender here and i don't want a toe strike uh, you really shouldn't be kicking your own tire and you shouldn't be interfering with your own steering that's just asking for a disaster to happen or a fall to happen so that's why uh, that's why the fender is mounted in this direction this close to the tire that's why this uh, this lateral play here on the fender and uh, lack of clearance between bracket and the corner of the tire is an issue and this is why i want to stiffen it up with just a different this is from uh, sks brand fenders and for uh, trimming the fender and uh, making them uh, making them fit i need of course I'm, i use an angle grinder i really don't like uh, pliers but even if you use pliers it and it leaves coarse ends on the wire such as this one and this needs filing or grinding i really just a hand file is fantastic oh yeah for the for the grinder i need of course zip disc these these thin zip discs not the not the thick grinding wheel and i need a 10 millimeter wrench for undoing that bolt there and i need two additional bolts that fit in in the uh, in the upper brackets now originally the, the fender came with those but i got another two of these coming from i don't know maybe again sks fenders who knows i just asked for it nicely at the mechanic in the fork leg those bolts going into in this case carbon fiber fork legs it needs to be tightened with a torque wrench that's calibrated in inch pounds or newton meters a few of those either which way it needs not more than five newton meters of torque um, tightening into an insert that's in, in a threaded insert that's inside the fork leg so if you over tighten it and rip it out it's going to be really inconvenient the bolt doesn't need to be hold doesn't need to ex exert much force this way um, as long as it's not shaking out of place it's fine because it's uh, it's holding it it doesn't need to hold it up and down it's going to be working out fine if it's not rattling into the spokes way so that's basically what I need for this and uh, right about now I'm ready to remove the original ones. One more problem with the original and I never mentioned this, uh, this tie wire here 
on the existing on this existing uh, wire stay here this is a plastic sleeve this wire stay is actually made of two pieces so this is a somewhat of a quick connect or emergency disconnect uh, plastic uh, sleeve and in an accident or whatever this disconnects there it works fine in theory but in practice you see what happened I, I fell with this bicycle here fender and everything on it already and it just disconnected here but it also chipped out a corner of the plastic which necessitated that tie wire here very unstylish but it works so I'm going to replace the existing mounting system with something that's not included in the Axiom mounting kit, this Y-shaped wires from used with SKS fenders.